Yes, this is a one more chronic cystitis patient. Uh, uh, although she used many, many antibiotics for years, nine years, I think, still she has these infections in the bladder. And as usual, she had neuropathies. And these are the uh, what we are looking for. These are the source of infection. The change tissues here, the coplacheas, are making the bladder prone to get infections. When the bacteria go inside the bladder, they stick onto these tissues and make these infections untreatable. So recently, what I am looking is, after looking this trigon, I am looking to back wall of the bladder. And let me focus. Here, this part is the part which bladder comes into contact with trigon. Look at this part. This is healthy. This is red. This is healthy. So in the middle, this part is inflamed. Uh, and it comes into contact when the bladder empties. So we also fulgurate this part. Uh, and I think it's increased our success rate significantly so at least the healing is better because I believe if there is no tissue change it will heal eventually but and the, here there is no tissue change it's a normal bladder wall but inflamed but it takes more time to heal for these inflamed tissues uh, this is my theory my latest theory let's say so uh, her bladder capacity is important and if the bladder is not too fragile I expect a uh, fast healing from these ladies. Now we will mark uh, our borders and begin the preparation. Okay, this is the lesions we are looking for. Are there any documents that Urine is coming from the kidneys. His side walls are healthy. Trigon, lipoplakia, and here the inflamed bladder tissue. Okay, and I will look to retra. Seems quite normal. Checking for skin glands. There is no lump, no secretion is coming out. And I will look the upper part of retra, which is okay. It seems healthy. These tissues are raw, fresh, no lesion here. Okay, now we will begin one full uh, borders and begin the progression. Okay. So we mark the borders <coughs> and uh, behind this, these are healthy tissues, still some inflammations. We are full waiting for this. You can say it's a quite large area that's affected. And it's better to mark this uh, inflamed area too. You will make the vibration with this part. Thank you. 
This also seems inflamed. Look at these tissues, they don't seem normal. When we fulgurate, new tissue comes over it healthy. So it's always better to fulgurate as much as possible. I don't want to leave any abnormal tissue behind. I would have one here in the So I filled the bladder and now it's empty a little bit. Now I'm looking if there is any bleeding. This is the uh, most difficult part. I scared to see bleedings in the bladder at that moment. Cracks and bleedings means the bladder is not healthy. Look, it is not a bleeding, but it would be this part, side, side walls. If she waited a little more, this part will be damaged. I think uh, we did it just one time. at these bleedings. This is the inflamed part which comes into contact with the trigon. And here there are little potential bleedings. I will fulgurate all this area. Always the infection spreads from trigon to opposite wall then to side walls. And here the side walls didn't crack. This is good. But I can say these are fragile. She doesn't have a very big capacity. House. Okay, so we fulgurated the opposite wall. And here, the unhealthy tissues. We can differentiate them with this little potential bleedings. Now, new mucosa will run over these tissues and they, they will heal. And in the track one, we spared the orifices and uh, made the fluvation to this space. We are about to finish. The bladder capacity is a little low, but the rest is healthy. In the side walls, we did small fluvations in the perpetual bleed areas. All the leading seconds in the side walls. I think this is enough. Pause. Okay, and this is service utility. There is a little discharge. Yes, previously I was thinking these tissue changes to be too much, but after many uh, cases, and gynecological friends said these are normal uh, differentiations of uh, uterus wall. But still, I will show them to this patient and want a gynecological consultation. Otherwise, the uh, vaginal walls are healthy. There's not too many discharge. This is vaginal walls. They seem healthy. Yeah, good vaginal. Uh, there's no problem in vagina. Okay, stop.